Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and in 2013, maybe, I don't know, 10 years after TED Talks began, there was a TED Talk that was amazing. And it was amazing for a number of different reasons, not the least of which is it had real bearing on what you and I do for a living. This TED Talk was uh, given by Julian Treasure, who is a vocal consultant in the UK. And the talk was all about how to speak so that people will listen. Let's listen to Julian talk, just a real brief moment. The human voice. It's the instrument we all play. It's the most powerful sound in the world, probably. It's the only one that can start a war or say, I love you. And yet many people have the experience that when they speak, people don't listen to them. Why is that? How can we speak powerfully to make change in the world? So he's got a lovely voice, British accent. People here love British accents everywhere. People love British accents, right? Especially when they're delivered in a way that he delivers it. And the cool thing is this is a very meta kind of video because all the things that he talks about in the video he engages in and displays when he talks. And we'll look at these across the next few videos because not only are they useful for you in everyday conversation, we've been doing a lot of videos recently about networking and using your voice when presenting, uh, using your voice when coaching, using your voice when performing. And although this talk was meant mostly for civilians, mostly for the muggles. Um, the, the talk also has uh, very uh, serious applications for us as professional voice talent. So the first things that he talks about in the video, and I urge you to go watch the entire video. It's, I think it's nine minutes long or something like that. It's, it's so, and it's compact. It's very well written. It's one of the best. It's been seen 30 million times or more who knows how many times it's been seen by the time you see this video. And I don't want you to watch these videos in lieu of watching the TED Talk. I want you to go watch the TED Talk. But I want you to pay attention to what he has to say. And what I want to do is kind of amplify and put a spotlight on the different things that he talks about in the video that have application to us as pros. So the first thing he talks about are the seven deadly sins. And I want to talk about the first three in this video. The seven deadly sins of conversation. Um, the first one is gossip, and we're all guilty of it. We all get a tiny little, you know, charge out of being able to put somebody else down from time to time. I mean, it's not useful. It's certainly not useful as a professional because you never know when you're going to have to work with that person, as many people who I've worked with have found out. Either I've said something negative about them in the past, they go, you know, remember what you said about me? Um, or they've said something about me, and it's always an exercise in grace, and not to not bring that up. So if you don't want to have any of that as an issue, don't gossip. It doesn't help. It makes you feel kind of icky when you're all done, and you wonder whether or not the person you've gossiped about is going to do the same in return, or if the person that you're gossiping with is going to do that about you. But anyway, Julian will tell you all about that. Um, the other one, and it's kind of related, but it's different in a, in, a, in a small way, and that's judging. Certainly when you gossip, you're judging somebody. But judging in general when you're providing information can be a real holdback in terms of people using that information. Now, I'm not talking about when somebody says, hey, what do you think of this? I'm talking about when somebody says, yeah, I saw that mic, and your instant reaction is, oh, that mic is horrible. Unless it is horrible. <laughs> I'm looking at you, most of the USB microphones on the marketplace, the ones that are used for, for gaming and stuff. But I'm talking about the judging that instantly puts the person that you're having a conversation with or the peer or casting person in our business kind of on edge because they instantly regard you in a different way, that you are judgmental. You know, again, if people ask me what microphone should I avoid, I'm going to be very judgmental and tell you, don't buy a snowball, not for our business, right? But judging in general is something to be avoided. The third one is negativity in general. Nobody wants to be around a Debbie Downer. 
Nobody wants to hear you bitch and moan about how you're not getting any auditions. You're never getting booked. You're never going to get booked again. And I'm not talking about people who use that as kind of a tool like my friend Carol does. Oh, I'll never get booked again. And then she does. Um, but I'm talking about complaining. I'm talking about being negative in general. Um, it's tough sometimes because this is a business filled with rejection and negativity and problems and challenges. How do you do that, right? And part of it is simply noticing when it happens, getting used to how that feels when you're done complaining, when you're done being negative, and just simply committing to yourself that you can do better, that you'll do better next time, and that you won't do that next time. And it's amazing what opportunities occur for you when you aren't being negative. So those are the first three. I'm going to deal with the seven, the rest of the seven in the next video that I do. But those three, again, were gossip, judging, and negativity. I'm sure you never do those things. So I'm just preaching to the choir here, right? But I've given you a link to Julian's uh, TED Talk. Go ahead and, uh, and check it out because it's great. And we'll do further analysis on this because I think it's really important that we understand what he's talking about as it pertains to our business. Let me know if any of this resonates with you. Let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think if you watch the talk, um, and uh, I'll deal with uh, more coming up. If you want to be on my list and get notified when these videos come out, I would love to have you on the list. Just go down to the very bottom of this page on voheroes.com and fill in the form that says get on the list, and you'll be on it. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.